and Zach especially gonna handle that burden. They are strong siege with Varus and Zoe. And then the 4-1 split push, depending on how the swinging matchup of Camille versus Nar goes on the top side. So it's a very strong draft coming through from KSV. And when we flip over to the side of KT, they do some things very well. They still do have strong siege with the Caitlyn traps and Malzaha poking, looking for a catch with the ultimate. But they're so squishy in comparison that you feel like if ever we see a five to 10,000 gold lead come through for KSV, it just feels like it's unturnable almost by KT Rolster. So KT, it is a very KT 2017 draft. Pulling it off against KSV kind of depends on which KSV we see today. And it's fighting time. Yep, the flash shot in. Ruler doesn't have his flash anymore. They're going to be looking for that as Pawn flashes in. He's underneath the turret, though. Do they have enough damage to take him out? The stun from Braum coming in. It is Pawn able to pick up first blood. Score sprinting through the jungle. He's got Pawn on his heels. Cube, thankfully, Sped. is here. Trying to make it in. The only one who's not here is Zoe. Trying to get on top of that uh, target, looks like. Underneath all of that, finally gets taken out. Looks like maybe. Look at all the traps that are set up too by the Caitlyn. It's getting pretty low here. The disengage too. Haru, he wants to get in, but it's too slow. Coming from the top side now is Kyuve. They're going to go straight onto him. No QSS. Looking for the engage. They want to deny it. And tons of stuns here onto Smep. He still gets a two-man ultimate. And he has the GA. Cosmic Radiance comes down. Score eats a big one. But they are going to be able to pick up the top laner in Smep at the end of it all. Seems like KT. You know, you mentioned how it was mistakes and pushing a little bit too far ahead, but now it's nothing but careful play. Well, there's no easy little victories to inch forward when you're in the enemy base. Everything can be defended. There's such a terrain advantage for the defending team. As Haru tries something. They lock him down. It's the same combination that we've seen before. Cosmic Radiance, though, this time saves his life. Cleanse available for Defty. He's not even going to use it to get out of that one. Decides, no, I'll just push ahead and save it. Meanwhile, Smeb getting himself into some trouble here. Has the Guardian Angel to buy some time for his teammates to come on over. Inhibitor still up in the top side, but they want to get some kills here. Crown getting low, and the minions take him out alongside Pawn. Even the Camille getting low at the end of this one. Haru pushing forward now. He's got no support, just a stopwatch. So try and end the game here, KT yeah. rolls to Smep. Just teleports in, they're going for the end. Here we go, Smep coming on in. They're just looking to push everybody away at this point. Score, he wants to have some play in this game, some kills, but he just gets taken out towards the end. And they will be able to take down this last member of QV Ruler still in the fountain. Will it be enough? Yes, it will. The ace comes through, and KT finally take game number one. Ambition on Sejuani, always uh, a treat to see. We'll see if he can uh, get a win on this. He's 0-1 so far. Smab rolling Smab up the whoa. sleeves. <laughs> He's rolling up the up sleeves. I from my desk, I'm like, oh, baby. <laughs> What's going on here? I must have missed something. He's rolled up his sleeves, ready for some Scion action. <laughs> That's how I look like when I play Scion in solo queue yeah. as well. That's what I'm going for. Wearing the sleeveless shirt. That's what I go for. Oh, baby. On the side of KSV. They look very business-like, but they want to find some smiles. They want to find some momentum. KSV blown apart by SKT. Well, they're desperately trying to make action happen. As Score says, hey, we got an opportunity here on Takori JJ. There's the knockup, nicely done by Mata. Looking for just a bit more damage. There it is, first blood goes over to Score. TP's going to cancel out. Look at Pawn in the bottom lane at the same time, putting pressure on bot side. A small maneuver, but could turn into something bigger. KSV a little bit. Uh, you know, that is turning on to Cuvee. Cuvee is just all alone here. He's not going to be able to get any help from his teammates. The heal comes in and he flashes at the very end, but it's not enough to make sure that he lives here. Now the damage coming out onto Ambition. The stun from the Braum is going to be able to pick up the kill, a double kill, going over to score. Even if you think, hey, play passive, that's the way you play. That hasn't been enough for KSV to have the consistency that is crown. Trying to go 1v1, and that turns into a 2v1 real quick when he got them OP boots. Zoe is needed to have an extra threat in this area, but she's wave clearing topside. Rise drawing a Zoe away. It's oh. fantastic to talk about. That's, oh. uh, that's what we call a shiv headshot crit. And he stood on a trap. Yep. He took it. And now look at Score on the right side, but look at Cuvee just disappearing in the front. 
A lot of members that can say that on the side of, uh, of KT right now. Trouble Bubble will finally hit here. Let's see if they get a bit of damage. Mata not going to go unbreakable. Now yeah, Ruler getting low. Dept in the face of danger, just trying to shoot everybody down. But here it is, the flash forward, but he still hits the Braum. It's going to be enough to get the Braum at least this time around. I like Score's position in these fights towards mid lane. The slow comes down onto Ruler. I think they're looking for, for the... Score. It could be onto Crown too. There it is, a couple of moves, and down she goes. Disappears, does the Zoe, and it might not just be her, the Togod. Also, Kive not able to get out of there. He's in the back line. He doesn't take damage, as we know. Well, they're going to lock down Ambition here, who charges into a Scion. Maybe not the best idea. Look at that backline damage, though. Trying to get on in there, it's not enough. It's, it's, we're getting to a point in the game where even Cho'Goth is an option. But here it is, the ultimate comes forward and hits the Braum again. He's dead. Blow him up. Nicely done, and Smep coming forward with score, but it's not necessarily enough to get into one down here. Steph, though, lots of room on the left side. Takes out Ambition, but down goes Smep at the same time. Score coming in for the assassination. Not enough as Crown gets away, but still. Deft. Okay, he's trying to 1v1, and Ruler's going to win that. The Scion. Passive is not enough to get him a point coming in to clean up the kill. That goes through the Braum, and they're going to expend the ultimate here. The flash comes in just at the last second to get away from that paddle star that might have chunked him down, but not. And Vision sitting on a trap, forced to flash away. Now it's Cubase's turn. There's the full channel with a huge stun coming in. Uh oh, score nearly goes down, but they do get the kill as they poke on through. The Zoe against oh, the Zoe again, the two shot, dead. down he goes, see you later. And that might just be it. They don't have a damage threat now outside of the Zoe. And with the Baron buff, 17 seconds will be enough. KT, they're pushing in. They're going to get the second inhibitor, make that a third in the bottom side. Def still healthy and no shot for KSV unless they can get a miracle pick at this point. This feels like everyone else is stargazing on the side of KSV. They need Roller to be the wave clear, but if you're not body blocking, if you're not disrupting, you're not doing much. And like you say, KT just want to end it. They're going to go for it. At this point, death timer's too long. That's going to be the first turret. Lots of members on KSV desperately trying to push them away. They want to get onto death, but they just absolutely cannot. And it is going to be enough. They pick off the Zoe. That last damage goes down, and that's going to do it. KT just playing with their food at this point. Down goes the Nexus, and the 2-0 victory for KT comes through. Big win for KT Roll. So they end the first round, Robin, 7-2. Maybe enough to guarantee them second.